Okay, so to begin with, we're going to go ahead and check out if we can get the OnlineMemorialFoundation.com as a website. We want that name. So I type in uh, one and one dot com. I, I used this for a few years now where you could get the domain name for a dollar. Um, I think they may still have it. I'm not sure. Um, now they're IONO, so, you know, whatever. But OnlineMemorialFoundation.com. And we're going to check it. I do. There we go. <coughs> okay, and it's available, right? Introductory offer, a dollar, and then fifteen dollars for the first year. Okay, beautiful. So let's go ahead and add that to the cart. Continue. All right, we don't want web hosting and all that kind of stuff. All we want is just a domain name. Well, email is pretty good. I mean, if you want to have email, you know, go for it, you know. All right, so check it out. It's a dollar. Beautiful. Make sure that this right here is checked as well because this allows you not to be spammed. This keeps your information, your registration information with one and one private very useful you have to pay fifteen dollars i think like on godaddy or something like that all right so there's a little bit of savings for you guys and we're gonna go ahead and continue uh is there anything else all right let's continue okay and we're gonna create a new account let me just go through this right quick and then i'll come back to you guys all right Okay, so I got done finishing out, filling up the uh, information there, and I'm going to hit the order now button, and I'm sure it's going to send uh, me an email saying, hey, you know, verify and all that type of stuff, yes. So you receive your confirmation, verify that it's you, and then once you're able to do all that kind of fun stuff, go ahead and log into uh, your account, okay? Okay, so for today which is uh, I don't know Saturday what are we at June 22nd 2019 this is what it looks like as soon as you sign into it um, basically just put in you know the dot com that you had uh, registered and then your password and uh, when you come in here you're gonna want to play around with your domain settings so you want to play with uh, this down here okay. well I, let me go back just so you guys see what I'm doing I'm sure you understand but domain not in use you want to use your domain um, there's other actions that you can do as well so in regards of renewal and transfer if you just want to kind of test it out for like a year and you know that's it okay cool uh, you could also disable it so disable automatic renewal I'm gonna hit that button because I don't know how this is gonna go and I don't want to be charged fifteen dollars later or a year later you know it's not a biggie I mean that's just whatever you want to do okay well it's not available at the moment whatever alright so we're gonna go ahead and go back to our DNS up here well, let me go back to how it would probably look when you do it so use your domain and we are going to click into the name server and over here it has the name server for one and one dot com or ionos but that's not what we want we want to use what's available on digital ocean or what other place that you're going to be hosting it at so if you're going to host gator you put host gators dns information in and and you know digital ocean and so forth so for me i use digital one so ns1 digital ocean dot com ns2 dot digital ocean dot com digital uh, two three whatever Oop.
Okay, so that was the oops. But anyway, so you're going to have NS1, NS2, possibly NS3. All these are going to digitalocean.com. So beautiful. At least that's, you know, in my case. All right, so now it's going to take a little bit. You know, it can take up to 48 hours for it to propagate or basically saying, hey, it's going to, you know, match up with the, the settings that you have. Honestly, it shouldn't take more than like an hour or two. Uh, so the next video will be in regards of just kind of getting things set up with uh, DigitalOcean. Uh, hope this helped. All right.